Okay, so hopefully this is recording there. Um, what I'm going to have you guys do here is uh, model a cell phone cover. And what I've shown here, uh, as I've done it in the background, I've modeled the body of the phone. So if I highlight that, I first create that based on its dimensions, just as a rectangle, and then around the edges. And then I do the operation where you uh, add a sh uh, you thicken something. So that's all that you do to create the cover part and it creates it as its own body. And then you just have to cut it out um, with uh, every, every face of the thing that has a cutout you, needs a sketch and then an extrude cut. And that's it. Uh, so this is my third generation of this. Um, and this one is on my phone right now and working good. So let's create it. What you will need to do, by the way, is type in the, your phone type. So I have an iPhone 8 Plus. And then put in the word dimensions, and then Google usually will give you the answer. There, it'll give you the exact millimeter or inch conversion here. Um, and what I do is make sure that does line up, and just actually take like a ruler, measure your phone, make sure it agrees. And then you also can Google for images. I know some of y'all have a hard time saving these on your Chromebooks, but if you are able to save an image. Um, so this is the same search, but then if I just go to images, um, I can find some good images of the phone. And I found this one and I measured across and sure enough, I have a three inch wide phone. And uh, so I knew that this was the right image. And if I save that as um, onto my computer, and I already did this actually, there it is, iPhone. So uh, you can upload it into the background here. So you see how I have the image in the, uh, in the background. And um, that's really handy because that lets me know how to make all these cutouts. So I actually just cut these out to where I saw the buttons in the picture. Okay, that's all I'm doing. So, and then I, uh, um, uh, I made these nice long, the whole point of this, by the way, is that you guys will print these as Christmas gifts. So um, for yourself or for whoever, uh, it's a fun project. The 3D printer, the one I'm using right now is working great. So um, let's go back and create a new one so we can see how to do it. So I'm going to go to new create document and uh, I'll just call this my name iPhone 8 cover. Um, so uh, real quite simply, I'm just going to start by clicking that bottom plane. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and put in the rectangle first. So I'll just sketch a rectangle there. So I'll right click and say new sketch. I'll go to the top view so I can see right down on it. And I'll do just a two point rectangle. And I'm just going to put it in roughly in the middle. That'll work. And then I'm going to dimension those according to these dimensions that I looked up. So um, uh, I can literally cop and paste paste them so it's going to be 3.07 inches wide I can say control C back here I can type that dimension or I can sorry I have to uh, go to the dimension tool here click on that then I can paste 3.07 then I go over here and get the height length wholeness of the phone and I'll put another dimension on here and I'll control paste okay. good and then I can just highlight that profile and I'm going to extrude it but before I do that I'll go get that other dimension it's going to be only 0 0.32 inches thick so that's where I'll go here I'll say extrude and then I'll type that number or paste that number in here. Oh. So all I got to do now is add that image. Again, if you cannot add your image, don't worry about it. You can actually just keep the image. You can do it from the phone. You're holding it. You're, if it's your phone or 